Man, I need to, I need to get some like Hulk Hogan shirts so I can just rip them off. <laughs> no, you don't. Uh, I'm too hot. Yeah. I- And welcome back to another Linux Gamecast Weekly, a show that covers the latest Linux gaming news, reviews, how to's, and most importantly, whatever the hell else we come up with. This week is no exception. I'm Vin Stone here in beautiful downtown Athens, Georgia, at LJC Actual, switching the bits, doing the nightmare fuel each and every week under Linux. Joined by our tame Canadian podcaster up north, where it's actually starting to get a little cold. They're not melting anymore, but it's still humid as all. That is one Jordan Svan. And the man who knows humidity like no other. The guy on the island. He loves it. Can't get enough. Solves all problems simply by moving to the UK. One Pedro Mateus. And together with you at home, Shat Realm Dynamic, (laughs) joining us live, helping us form that special bit. Notice Cocaine Voltron. Hey, before we get going, um, we do like to see what's going on in each other's life organs. And we're tied this week, I think. Yeah. Yeah, th- this week has been all work, all work, and all then work, it's no not play. All, uh, makes makes Homer something something. Ah, well, we had fun. Uh, we we finished a mission in Fulfenstein. We did. We, we, we got our asses killed right there at the end. Almost got out. We yeah we, we <laughs> and it, it was great too because like we could have just gotten our asses killed at the beginning and then we get, we would have had time for an entirely new mission, but you know. <laughs> Which okay, that it's kind of the point. If you've ever played Wolfenstein Youngblood, we discovered on accident that as long as you get the objective, you just die and respawn, and you just go back to base. Mm-hmm. So it's kind of a principal thing to try to get back the right way. But if you don't, after that, you're like, eh. The <laughs> I mean, I mean, ultimately, it's faster too because you don't have to like, oh, there's still enemies around, Herder. Yeah, he's on the other side of the map, clipped right. in a in a barrel somewhere, crouched. He's a big threat. <laughs> so, one thing I did get out uh, for everyone, the general public, if uh, I resurrected an Apugi duet, it's kind of brilliant. It was a Mac only device, um, audio interface from Apogee. And hey, we're running Apugi. Linux. We can make use of it. <laughs> and it works very well. I'm using it right now. I am very much on the search for the big, big chungus um, Apugi ensemble. So, I got my fingers crossed. I'm trying to get my hopes up, but I think uh, the resellers are realizing no one's going to give them three to six hundred dollars for one. Big, and big poogie. I got this. I got this because my curiosity got the better of me. Um, we're going to find out not tonight, but definitely in an upcoming interfacing Linux. Just how good is the Amazon Basics dynamic microphone? <laughs> how, how good is and the if zinc it catches quality? on fire? <laughs> Quit saying that because I could probably rig it to. I mean, yeah, if you run, if you run enough current through something, yeah, it will catch fire. Yeah. How about you, Pedro? What's up? Uh, yeah, no, my week was very uneventful. The only thing was that I found a, uh, a Portuguese uh, seller on eBay that makes like carbon fibery looking stickers for the uh, Steam controller, mm-hmm. and I bought some because they were like five pounds or something. And it's like, okay, let just send me some. And uh, it does look very, very nice. I didn't do a terribly good job with the sticking the sticker on here. Uh, there's a couple of... <laughs> there's it's tilted slightly to one side, but... <laughs> oh, 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 sticky it's... Pedro, they called him. I know, man. <laughs> I bought uh, a kit like that, like one of the first like 10 inch tablets I bought, the carbon fiber. Then I bought a case for it because I didn't want to take it out in public. I'm like, yeah, I won't be that guy. I didn't. But, you know, then we turned around and covered our horse with carbon fiber stickers. Yeah, and now it's extra sticky. It's the Steam Linux update. So. If, if, if you know me, you know that the C comes before the Wang. Um, and <laughs> okay. a, 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 apparently this this is another Quang out there. Uh, Quang prop, proper, actually. Uh, they, they, they put together a little whip pitch. How much does it cost to buy all, all the Steam games? Uh, and 
according to according to this website, everything on sale, uh, you can pick it up for $522,269.15 U.S. What the uh, hell went on on December 21st, 2019? Christmas sale? I got, yeah. yeah. Christmas, <laughs> yeah. what, June? Or is that the summer sale? July summer 2nd. sale, yep. yeah. yeah, yeah. You, you can tell where the sales are. Yeah, appara- apparently the maximum price is $540,642, or 540642 dollars at full price. We were talking about this, though, in the pre pre super shows, and does this count, like, all the all the DLC, right? Because, like, Train Simulator and shit, like, that has, if you buy all the DLC, that's, like, easily 15 grand, 15, 20 grand. Yeah, I went, uh, I went through the source code to try and figure out that, but it just lists the uh, Steam ID and not the name, so I don't know, because I couldn't be bothered to check if the Steam ID <laughs> matched DLC or game, so... <laughs> but yeah, uh, they say that they based this off of an old project, which was hosted on uh, buyallofsteam.appspot.com, but apparently that hasn't been updated since 2014. And so they decided, you know what, let's just make a PHP version that auto-updates, so it's always relevant. There we go. (gasps) And half a million dollars doesn't buy it all. It's 2020, (laughs) it's just not rust. I mean, I mean, be be thankful they provide an API so that you can query this for your own yeah. nefarious purposes. I was genuinely surprised that it was only half a mil. I mean, that it was like only in half a mil, but like that was still that that's that, that is lower than I would have thought for yeah. sure. I don't know, but hey, half uh, a million dollars doesn't buy you all the games on Steam. Yeah. Half, a, half a million dollars won't buy you a house in Toronto, man. So. <laughs> Yeah, not much of one. Uh, check That's this out. <laughs> Fortunately, <laughs> this next pe- next piece of technology from Valve uh, has made it real easy to play those five hundred thousand dollars worth of games. Well, most of them. Well, th- th- this, yes. this is by, by from Valve by way of Red Hat or an a yeah. <laughs> glorious egg roll uh, specifically. And there's a new version of Proton G currently out. Uh, it's just the roll up of uh, more and more back ports from the newer Wine versions into Pro- his version of Proton 5.9. So it's uh, it's all there. There's um, an entire seven uh, releases worth of wine patches, and there are some significant um, things to be uh, seen here. One of them were the um, improvements to F audio, which, well, I've been meaning because I've played through uh, Dark Souls to um, Scholar of the First Sin all the way through, but I haven't played through the OG Dark Souls 2 without the DLCs yet, so. It's like, okay, uh, I'll play it once I can get all the things, and if I have to use Proton G, I'll do it. But it still doesn't fix the issue with the audio skipping in the intro cutscene, and the grass at the beginning is still borked. So, man. Oh, no. <laughs> I got good news with it, though, man. The game a, first off, um, it's been a minute since we had an official update from Valve. Um, you know, 5.0, mm-hmm. and it's been working, no big issues. Mm-hmm. I'm glad to see Proton updates from anyone. Good work on this, mainly because uh, I picked up Not Hollow Knight 2, uh, the sequel to Not Hollow Knight, and with Proton in the previous GE, I, I rolled it down. It had severe stuttering issues, no matter what. Um, you know, 1080p, 2160, no, no matter anything you did, it was just that shader caching, whatever it... There was something, you know what I'm talking about, like when you start into a new area, it's like, t- t- you get those ticks and it never went away, man. This fixed that. Made it completely nice. playable. So nice. I was happy to see it. The other thing that comes in with this release, too, is uh, Horizon Zero Dawn has been out on PC for a while. It's finally working under uh, 5.9 now. So, yeah, go 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 play your futuristic animal hunting photo simulator. Um, good, I guess we're going to be waiting a while for the new, ver- the new one that's coming out on PS5. Maybe that'll come out in, like, 2015. <laughs> it's going to be one of those exclusives. It might come out after that particular generation is over. Yeah, yeah. Board. Play- Tw- tw- 2050. <laughs> uh, if, if, if we don't all catch fire first. So we get a couple of game updates this week. The first one uh, is just more of this, but hey, we have the, I'm guessing yeah. it can only be considered the final teaser trailer because yeah, we were talking about this on Thursday. It's been 10 years. One decade. Yeah. Uh, 20, 2009 is when Left 4 Dead 2 came out. Um, and yeah, uh, they, they have the new Last Stand trailer. It actually shows off some of the stuff that they've added. The new get up animations, the fit, the pitchfork, the shovel, uh, 
Um, yeah, it's certainly one way to breathe new life into the game. And I'm just looking around and trying to see some of the areas I don't recognize. Oh, yeah, that, that's fuckbox. That's fuckbox. That's fuckbox. <laughs> um, but the, the cool thing is, like, Valve, Valve is engaging the community on this. I don't know. Do, do you think shovel, this is going to... Shovel, I was shovel. Like, a little excited about Pitchfork, son. Pitchfork, <laughs> yeah. Uh, I, yeah, I th- want this... that shovel to have a satisfying twang when you hit something. <laughs> Uh, yeah. Are we excited? A little bit, maybe. Uh, I'm I'm interested to see what they change because they, they they said they're doing multiplayer rebalances. There's more changes than what they've indicated in the trailer, apparently. So hmm. uh, we're gonna be nice. playing it this Thursday. If you want to participate, um, like I'll probably put out the uh, bat signal Wednesday. I'll post that in Discord and be like, "Yo, if you want to come." If not, it's gonna be Jordan, myself, old school, and probably Pedro will be like, "I'm just gonna come play." At some point, you'll probably <laughs> so be uh, again. If it's not at stupid uh, o'clock in the morning, mm, yes, because <laughs> I do be have work the next day. Yeah. <laughs> uh, all right, we get another update to Gang Beast, a game that I still, to this point, have no idea what I'm supposed to be doing. No one, uh, no one does. That's kind of the point. Um, but yeah, uh, they have a lot of bounce and bug fixes out for the the second wave of betas. Um, a Mac is apparently using metal now for all, all the good that'll do. Um, They've standardized the sausage distribution, which oh, I think is, is it's 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 uh, yeah it's about time. Um, and yeah, uh, they they've also indicated that they're going to be doing some future changes, like um, changing how grip works. Apparently, grabbing is a little overpowered, so now they're going to tie it to the stamina bar. Uh, so it's just a lot more fuckery. You're probably not going to notice a lot of um, a lot of the changes if you're just a casual player. I know some of the hardcore gang beasters. That sounds dirty. Mm-hmm. Um, mm-hmm. A number of the hardcore gang beasters are going to be quite upset by this. Um, yeah, look, look at look at all those sausages. They're all normalized now. And yeah. <laughs> so 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 normalized. Uh, yeah. So the, the, there, yeah, there no, you go. The, the whole the whole grabbing thing was uh, a little bit op because right at the start of the match, if you could grab someone with both hands and lift them over your head, you could just carry them all the way across the map and dump them over the edge mm. so, all right yep. well i gotta say no matter even if you don't fully understand just what the hell you're supposed to be doing in it it's still a better love story than fall guys but speaking of epic let's talk about <laughs> rocket league um now requires an epic account to play even through steam that's right we're gonna bring this up because you might not know but you will in just a second that you know epic they bought who's it Sinosis? Psionics. 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 One of those P ones. And what rolled down, you know, is what everyone expected. Like, no more Linux for you because I'm Tim Sweeney. Yeah, and he twirled his little mustache. He doesn't really have a mustache, but he puts one on just to twirl it. He yeah, he, he's got he's got the Gretchen March Marks one that he just has, like Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. And uh I, I was not surprised with this. And this, you know, apparently it opens up and it's like, hey, we need those digits. You gotta create this epic account, you gotta sign in, and here's a new terms of service which you did not agree to when you first bought the game now the game is going to be no, free to no. play now we're going to have this tied into epic and they've already segmented the steam version off from the epic version so that's going to be separate i don't understand what they're doing but mark my damn words i said it the day it went down i, I i'm not you know nostradamus by any stretch of the imagination this is the easy everyone sees us next step mm-hmm. gonna get the eac on it just like uh everything oh, else yeah. yeah and you know if you haven't got that refund it's probably too late i i, I can't get that refund because foxy bought it for me so mm. that that's australian dollar I can't get the the refund because i got it from humble uh, but so, so 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 here's the thing though um the thing that this reddit post also says is you can't actually read the terms of service in game you actually have to go to epic site so go go re- go agree to the something that you can't read when we're asking you to agree to it it's pretty sketchy if true um uh, but yeah that, that that's it <laughs> that, that it's yeah and full stop <laughs> it's blasphemy hmm yep and um I'm I'm glad that they're doing this because now even Windows users are starting to get pissed. <laughs> you know the you can take a little bit of delight from that. I understand, but 
Holy fuck, did Epic just wreck Rocket League. I mean, you've watched like the player count. Like that was the game you had like the perfect storm <laughs> for something like this when the community was all together and all tied in. Um, you know, they were doing the things on Twitch on Sundays with and that was a growing popularity. And it's one, one, one of the few games with like full cross play across like with all everything. The platforms. Yeah. 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 They were working real hard on it. <laughs> So yeah, they they got Sweeney on that. Um, <laughs> yeah, no, Epic came in and everyone went. Eh, let's try something else. Yeah. <laughs> like, oh, wait, you you will love it. Come on, it works and, for and, Google and, Plus, and, right? And that's why we're getting new <laughs> Left 4 Dead levels. So yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's it's all connected. It's it's the conspiracy. Something that is coming to Linux, though. Finally, uh, this was very, very much promised with the uh, the Kickstarter. Were you, were you getting and a little worried there for a minute? With the I online, was because they... last month uh, they said when they announced the um, the DLC, it's like okay, we'll have more news about the Mac and Linux versions on September fourth. Okay, September fourth, you know, came and went, and uh, finally, uh, well, when was this? Um, they moved the date. There we go. September 17th. Uh, finally, it's like, oh, yeah, no, we're, we're totally still doing the Mac and Linux versions, you guys. They're coming on the 21st. That's tomorrow. Mm. Well, tomorrow here <laughs> in the UK, so Monday. Um, yeah, it's... Um, I want to play it. Uh, well, I've already been playing it. I'm like halfway through the game, at least as far as the boss achievements are concerned. Uh, the I'm not finishing it until the actual Linux version is out, but that seems to be very much coming. So, thank you. So, so, so they say. <laughs> is uh, I watched you play a little bit of it. I, I enjoyed the like the pixel art. It's dark, kids. <laughs> like, okay, I, mm. I can get behind this, but um, 2D Dark Souls. To the it's it's Castlevania. It's okay, uh, okay. Symphony of the Night. I know, it, I, I, it's exactly Symphony of the Night. There's it, they swap the skins around, but it's, it, it, it's Symphony it's of the sli- Night. A slightly more Catholic <laughs> Symphony of the Night. Mm. Yes, <laughs> hyper Catholic. Might have to go check <laughs> that out. So I got pinged on by Mila on Mila, Twitter. Mila, Linux gamer. Yeah, and go yes. check out her channel uh, if you are down, uh, if capable of speaking and or understanding. Brazilian Portuguese, the best Portuguese. Um, the only Portuguese. Yes. Um, the correct <laughs> Portuguese. <laughs> the Angolan uh, population would like a word with you, as uh, would I, the Mozambicans. <laughs> and uh, I, I mean, what, there's a few what, more what, countries. <laughs> what, what, what's, what's their net population in relation to Brazil? I think it's less. <laughs> Possibly. Okay. <laughs> That's good. The game in question that I was pointed at was Phobia. Um, Saint Dinfa? Dinfa. 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 Saint Dinfa. It's actually a, um, I looked it up. It's a Irish saint. <laughs> it's a game. So it's a first person horror psychological game focused on environment, exploration, survival, and puzzle solving. That's the thing, man. You know, just in time for Too Spooky for You 2020 edition. I didn't have any issues. Pedro was going to get with some issues he had. I launched it, ran it on the Threadripper with the 2060. I dicked around in the room that I was clearly stuck in. I inspected stuff. I opened drawers. Couldn't figure out how to get out of the fucking room. But then again, it's me. Um, Looks very well done. It's got a full English um, voice acting. And uh, yeah, it's kind of like amnesia ish I, I got a feel for that maybe i don't know then again i couldn't get out of the room i couldn't open the door i couldn't unlock the door too spooky too, <laughs> too spooky, spooky. <laughs> but no, that, why i did I run into a few issues is uh free demo go try it out and yeah. linux specs are well it's got a linux version how about that <laughs> it, 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 it does in fact have a linux yes, version you does, might does not require in the um does not require a copy of windows <laughs> yeah yeah, but yeah, no, I did have a few issues. Uh, in the main menu, I don't know if it's intentional or not, but the audio was choppy. You you'd get like the generic creepy music, but it was like eat 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 eat. Eh. Uh, the uh, mouse in the menu was non-existent. Fair. Uh, <laughs> I went to the uh, options to rebind the controls because, uh, you know, I have the keyboard on the right and the mouse on the left, so I like to use the directional arrows, you know. Uh, and it wouldn't let me rebind controls at all. Mm-hmm. And in 2020, the fuck? 
are you doing? Not letting Mary buy the controls? Making me happy because it's causing me pain. <laughs> Yeah, I, I, it doesn't I mean, cause I, me pain. I'm just not playing the game. <laughs> the, the 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 no mouse in the main menu thing is real, but I didn't get the choppy audio on Fedora. Um, but yeah, no, it looks it looks like an okay horror game if that's if that's your jam. It's like it's well indie. done. It's something yeah. to keep an eye on, and, yeah. and it's not going to cost you anything to try it out. Uh, but one thing, um, it's probably too wishy for you. I know Pedro's like, oh, you would not be happy with the um, motion blur. Yeah, uh, there's there's no there's no release date. There should either. be an option uh, to disable that too. I hope. <laughs> do not yeah. whatever you do, do not disable that. Yeah. No, no no release date. So all you got is the demo. But you know, maybe, maybe give it a download, comment on their thing, give them some support. Yeah, yeah baby. Indeed. All right. Well, coming up next, everyone who's got their mitts on a 3080 Ti is really happy. As in, no one, no one is happy at all. It's a miserable time. Chances are, if you tuned in to uh, Linux Gamecast Weekly, you'd like some news that nope. aren't specifically related to I'm not here for the news. I'm here for... What the nudes. For? The nudes. No, no, no. We've been over this. <laughs> We've been over this. No, Strider's not here tonight. It's, uh, well, ne- he ne- isn't, neither, uh, neither, neither is Sandy, <laughs> but the ghost of Sandy's yes. here, and he's possessing me. No. Um, man, I need, to, I need to get some like Hulk Hogan shirts so I can just rip them off. No, you don't. Uh, I'm too hot yeah, to twitch. I, I, I do 100. percent If you, if I'll put them on my Amazon wish list, which you can, which you can view by uh, heading out over to LinuxGameCast.com, putting your mouse over the support button. Uh, besides that nightmare fuel, there's there's some other ways to support us. We got Amazon affiliate link, or we got yeah, we got an Amazon affiliate link. We have a humble affiliate link. Um, we have uh, Bitcoin. We have PayPal. We have all that good stuff. Uh, but that's is the new Wag affiliate link still there? No, no. New egg, no, it's I, I went looking for it because I because I I, I I I was gonna run that run my PC purchase th- yeah. yeah, but uh, no 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 dice no dice just just humble and uh, and Amazon. And we do we, need to, we, we get to point out the Amazon affiliate links are just there. They have nothing to do with supporting the yeah, show. They, because they, they, yes, they, they do not they, support us in any way. If we said they do, Amazon would be very upset with us. So Jeff um, Bezos will unhinge his jaw and consume <laughs> us. Animatronic Jeff Bezos will. Pull up his shirt and there'll be machine and not, gun. And not in the sexy way either. No. Not no. not in the no. You, you would know, hope, look, you would hope he would go full Charles Nelson Riley on you, but nay. I mean, if he has a third nipple on the back of his neck. Anyways, yeah, head on over to patreon.com slash Linux Gamecast. Best way to support us. A uh, dollar uh, episode gets you the minimum buy-in, which gives you access to our Discord channel. Uh, you can tune into the pre-pre Super Chosen, which happens an hour before we go live on Saturdays. Uh, you can also RSVP to game streams. We're doing the new Left 4 Dead map on uh, on Thursday. Thursday. So if you want if you want to join us, uh, that would be the way to... Do you want to bet it's, it's probably going to start? Me and you playing around against a bunch of bots, then we start having a good time. Then everybody's gonna want to jump in at one time. No, I'm 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 gonna hear some knocking on my door, and then Scott's just gonna kick in my front door and like. (laughs) No man, that's it. You're the scratching at the window, and you're like, "What floor am I on again?" It it it, it, it's like it's like the opening to Dad's Home, except with Scott. Uh, but yeah, um, a, a little bit more donation via the Patreon. You get access to the show notes. You get to see how the show is made. You can suggest things. You can make corrections. You can talk to us via the show notes. It's great. You get access to our little Google Doc. It's amazing. It's you can cool. even buy your you can even buy your way on the whole damn show if you want to donate that much. We got a store store at linuxgamecast.com. You can buy a T-shirt like Look this. At I will it. Mo- Look at it. I'll- yeah. What's it say on yeah. the back? <laughs> 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 There's an extra dot there. <laughs> um, yeah, uh, we, 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 you can you can get lovely use me shirts. You can get stickers. You can get coffee mugs. All sorts of stuff. We got Frega uh, files. Cl- it's got a brilliant. Uh, we also invite you to come hang out in our Discord, man. That's where we're at the other six days a week. Uh, we're, we're talking smack. It's a really chill place with uh, interesting people. If you're done with that IRC, but we got a lot of lurkers, man. But everybody pops in, <laughs> chimes in every now and then. Then the conversations break out and it gets weird. Indeed, man, it, utterly weird as a utterly. Word. We, we, yeah, you did <laughs> pre pre super shows where we were discussing um music albums with uh, and, and, and 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 cowboy and cowboy hats and cowboy hats with others, uh, video yes, evidence of and that. um vegetables or seeds with others in, in, <laughs> indeed uh we we, we got it we got someone we got to thank uh moisha mose moses yes yes uh Mose-y. they they they're, they're new mose mose mose, mose. 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 
Anyways, um, they're supporting us. Thanks a lot, man. We Patreon, really man. appreciate uh, it. Oh, yeah. I just remembered. Uh, you get your name in the credits and all that fun stuff. And you will yeah. absolutely be in the next week's credits. Because uh, oh, this one. Oh. Oops, forgot to add that. <laughs> Whoopsies. <laughs> Indeed. All right. All right. Well, let, let, let's get to it. The, the latest thing that's on all of our wish lists is the 3080. Mm-hmm. No. Um, well, it's a good thing that no. there's brand new <laughs> shiny drivers just for that. Uh, yeah, that's right, man. There's a new beta driver. Um, this wait, no, this is is this beta now or is it? Uh, no, uh, that, that's a Wickle driver on Linux. Right. That, that's what struck out to me. W H Q L, baby, <laughs> check it out. Uh, out of the gate, Nvidia's drop support added support, I should say, to the 3080, 3090, and. What you've all been clamoring for, the mm. MX450. Mm. Doesn't that sound hot? Are we happy? Yeah. I, I mean, I'm, I'm happy it fixed Wolfenstein Youngblood on my end. That shit was <laughs> crashing nonstop Thursday. Dude, we always have this. Uh, there's a mini game before we go live on Thursdays of what we have to go through. There's the, you know, fate's got like a raging clue. For both of us just yes we, yes we've established that and it, 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 it it's christmas every thursday for fate and this week for like f all reason there was a game update for the uh because the way we're playing it thank you aldius aldius picked up um young blood yeah, over yeah. wish list it was a little patreon goal thing I'm like hey all right we'll play it and we're going through it and so i have a copy but the way it works you basically just download the full game but you can only play with a buddy pass Right, it's, you you essentially download the dem the demo, quote unquote, and, which is the full game. Which like, yeah, it, it, yeah, it's a fifty gigabyte download. <laughs> yeah, and that update went from like everything's perfect to just knackered it. Yep, no, no, went went through all the Proton versions. Glory Seg roll wasn't having it. Upgraded the NVIDIA drivers. Lo and behold, it works. Uh, they also added a uh, new VK memory type uh, that is host aware. Uh, this should apparently help with some uh, Dixfix apps, uh, especially uh, World of Warcraft, uh, Dirt Rally, uh, Doom Eternal, and yeah. So, you know, more, more, more Dixfix fixes, always mm -hmm. good. A couple of things yeah. that I noticed. It seemed to have fixed uh, a layer of security that I use here at LGC, which was there's a bug with LightDM, mm. which is what I use to log into XFC. If you have the full composition pipeline enabled for three monitors mm. and you have your first monitor on the far right, it just get hang with it. I'm not the only one who, this is an obscure bug, but it's a real bug. It's repeatable and they know about it. And people like the five of us, like, why don't you just re, you know, move you? like, no, I'll have my monitors in a weird way. Deal with it. Um, this fixed it because up until then I would log in. Then you would get like the, you know, flash where it was trying to apply the uh, full mm -hmm. um, pipeline composition you know, to keep screen tearing away. Then I had to control alt F1, drop to TTY, then control alt F7, boom, desktop. That was like that was my extra layer of security. Even if you had my login and password, I was like, "Yeah, good luck." <laughs> the, 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 there, there's there's one there's one note on on the release notes here that really tickles me. Apparently, you could not have your AK monitor monitor in in my portrait AK mode. Monitor clack clack. Your eight, yeah, clack clack. Your eight. <laughs> if, 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 if you had an if you had an eight K <laughs> display and you're using it in portrait mode, you needed to be on something later than Pascal. <sighs> <laughs> uh, that's not even first world problems that's no uh, that, the, that's like moon problems <laughs> the, uh, one of the things I noticed was the NGX uh, library updater which if you don't know NGX is the um, basically the SDK that controls DLSS and all of the AI stuff that the driver itself is doing, which Windows users get to appreciate, but uh, us here in Linux land, yeah. Uh, the One of the things that NGX controls, which is image sharpening, that is technically, I would, <laughs> technically working on Linux, it does something. Uh, I tried to do it on a game with DXVK enabled that it crashed my entire X session, so that was amazing. Mm -hmm. uh, the uh, DLSS, on the other hand, still no news on that. I've read in certain other uh, Linux websites that uh, DLSS is totally on Linux, you guys. Where? Can't 
Can't, can't you can't you trick it with X-Rander? I know that's man. Enough. Look at you trying to be all fancy. Yeah. See, I, I have a freak you can... monitor. You know what? A freak seems to say. Let's another little, no. Let's not introduce. Oh, problems. free sync no, no. actually works. Both of these monitors have free sync, and I both God, show up. I'm sure it free does. Sync I have a forty-three inch free sync monitor in front of me. Never been enabled. <laughs> I, I, I learned that specifically in Wolfenstein Youngblood. Oh, yeah. If, if, you, if you're going to have adaptive V-Sync on, you better enable all the free sync shit or else you will be in Choppy Town, USA. <laughs> so, <laughs> yeah. There, it's, uh, you know, I also would give this a point, though, because NVIDIA did some work on Red Dead Redemption 2 on PC under Linux. So I'm like, huh. Right, yeah. We're going to uh, smooth the, that out. The, uh, th there's also there's also a fix if you're on a prime laptop. Uh, they have some uh, display corruption fixes as well. So good good to know that the laptop Nvidia laptop people are still getting a little bit of love because it's it's rough <laughs> if you're an Nvidia laptop owner. It is. I think Nvidia has a running bet to just see how long they can keep that at a, a dog shit situation. Yeah, I think they yeah. actively want people to stop using their um, dedicated the, GPUs on the, laptops. The, 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 there's an internal stop. team at <laughs> NVIDIA dedicated to trying to sell <laughs> AMD CPUs. No, I, 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 I like to imagine in like in their beta testing room, they have like a guy with a bunch of electrodes like attached to his nipples and his forehead or whatever, and they have him like forehead try nipples, and set up not even once, kids. <laughs> if you're Charles Nelson Riley, you have got you got nipples all over the place, man. Don't judge. Um, but yeah, they, they have him in like the little test room, and like and they're, they're they're trying to get the experience as painful as possible, so that like the person just freaks out and smashes the two thousand dollar laptop before they get it set up. Okay. They're like, yes, this is the release push it out green light get tired of installing haiku on it exactly all right fair enough haiku and free bsd mm. <laughs> see that requires i hope you don't head. want any hardware acceleration out of that uh discrete gpu we Actually, but... need to announce an open game jam for yes I... it's it's a little late though if, if you're if you're listening to this now you got about a day and change i have two days left you i have faith <laughs> yeah if, if 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 you're watching this on release on Sunday, you better fucking get started, son. If you're watching this on Monday, <laughs> man, I hope I I hope you have something ready to go in the tank. Um, but yeah, uh, so uh, the theme this year is airborne. So guys, go make Brick Simulator Infinite. We're waiting on it. Bricks um, with wings, real bricks yeah. with wings. <laughs> uh, but yeah, uh, so they they have this karma reward system now. So you get d various brownie points for uh, doing open source friendly things. Uh, you get one brownie point for developing out on Linux or really the Linux VM you have. I see you developers. I I, I know what you're up to. Don't 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 try and bullshit me. Um more on that. But, open source yeah. game engine is the one that gets you the most brownie points, gets you three. And open source tools you get one per tool. So if you go all out and decide to use F audio and wait, 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 wait. <laughs> what if I just pip install a bunch of Python modules? I mean, I mean that's. that's I'm pretty sure that's, that's plagiarism. <laughs> no, I mean it depends no, on the licensing. Tools. Depends on licensing. <laughs> what, 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 what the the game is just installing Python. <laughs> yeah. You didn't say that'd be fun, man. It had. It has to be in the air. So mm -hmm. there's technically like you know. Oh no no no, no no yeah no, no. So, 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 right. air, no, so you have to install it. Jython. No f you all. I'm, I'm going to put it in the cloud and put it on AWS. I'm like ha like, ah, theme acquired <laughs> over the <laughs> air. <laughs> over the air. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's 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 all done entirely via wireless networking. There we go. Over the air, it'll airborne. Really, airborne. It'll be awesome. <laughs> So, yeah, that's the thing, man. Uh, I always like to give it a mention. You know, sometimes it falls in a more appropriate date to tell everyone. But, hey, it's thing. It's something you as an end user can look forward to because game jams are usually sources of fantastic little things. You know, maybe not necessarily full fleshed out, like even prototypes, but you can get that grain of an idea. And then definitely yeah, goes on. Like to make the something. one idea that they had and they expanded on it and created that little game jam entry. That's yeah. <laughs> Hol yeah. Hollow, Hollow Knight. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> little, little <laughs> things like that. Lot, 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 lots. Yeah. Lot, lots of, lots of very popular games get their start in game jams. So yeah. Do, cool. do, do more open source programming. Make, make, make Tim Sweeney mad. Good news, everyone. Um, our long national nightmare is, in fact, not over. Nay. There is news on a game that got our hopes up. In fact, it was the first game that we were made aware of that utilized Unreal Engine 4 on Linux. 
name of this game. Well, you know, it had some nostalgia to it because it was 6DOF, baby. And you're like, oh, what could that be? Oh, man, think late Numpad. Numpad. Mm. <laughs> We're talking about Descent. And, you know, they kind of went radio silent. They went poof. Now, okay, let's dial that back a little bit. Um, Kickstarter released early access on Steam. Lost their fucking mind. Pulled the game off Steam. Put it on a website that you gave them tokens or some shit for. Then they went radio silent. But they're back with a Kickstarter update. With the state of the game, the team, the court case, trademark, everything you ever wanted to know. And then some. Well, here we are. Five years. After we initially kickstarted Descent Underground. Thanks to all of you. That money spent, suckers. L-O. Cocaine. Yeah, it's a hell of a drug, baby. <laughs> I'm going to say, uh, uh, what? I mean, okay. I mean, they, they don't say anything other than like, Pedro, you get a read through it, but it was, they the, waited, dicked around so long, lost the trademark. Then somebody sued somebody. Then I don't know. Yeah. The, the story was like very, you know, broad strokes. Uh, they, once they got a publisher, they moved to that little pyramid scheme of a website, uh, and pulled the game Nixon, from Nixon's Steam. Pyramid? You get it. No, if only. Uh, uh, they pulled the game from Steam, and you couldn't get it on Steam anymore. So, after that, the publisher did something, made some changes, and they didn't agree with it, so the publisher sued them, and then they countersued the publisher because... Yeah, uh, they have a link to the legal proceedings in the uh, in the announcement. If you want to go read, I, I honestly couldn't you be know bothered. What? I mean, I'm going to say something <laughs> while you're saying that is I can imagine the publishers like, OK, here, go make that. But like three years later, and like this looks exactly like the demo from three years ago. <laughs> Probably. Hey, if it's good, I didn't if read it's good enough the, for uh, uh, <laughs> if, if it's good enough for uh, overgrowth, it's good enough for you guys, right? Mm -hmm. <laughs> But yeah, after that, uh, Interplay was like, yo, that contract for the Descent trademark that you had, yeah, it's expired, so you don't get to use that anymore. So right now, they are in fuck you limbo, because fuck you. <laughs> Do you think they can just, um, like, change the name of the game? And they absolutely could uh jordan suggested what well, was it going down Go, going down <laughs> or or i i i, I uh, descent underground people the name the word jordan means descent so just name name your game after me do it yes put his name. face <laughs> yeah no we, 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 were, we were talking about the, the phalanx cover for super nintendo yeah. just do that I, I i will put on a fake beard and a banjo and sit on a rocking chair you can have your photo shoot and make your game cover i'm making myself available to you if you name your game jordan either that or dick nipple <laughs> or for, yes. Forehead nipple. Forehead nipple. Five head nipple. Uh, <laughs> there are four nipples. <laughs> oh, remember that talk we had about not screaming to the fucking microphone? Up next, um, <laughs> Vanquish. <laughs> Yeah, uh, Unvanquished. So it's been a while since we've talked about Unvanquished. This is kind of like the natural selection esque clone that's available on Linux. Um, and while it was source available, it wasn't really open source. Uh, there were a number of uh, bits of code and assets that were not released on free or GPL compatible or open source compatible licenses. Um, so uh, this guy, um, Il, uh, Ilwisk, I'm, I'm, I'm butchering his name. He's a nice Polish chap. Um, he, um, he, he went. He took about three years to go through and audit all of the, uh, all of the assets, all of the source code, and now everything in Invanquished is entirely open sourced or Creative Commons share alike. That is, uh, that is GPL compatible, which is a cool thing. It's, it's a. I mean, th three years is pretty good for that kind of undertaking for like a volunteer team. Uh, so good, good job, guys. Uh, they go through the entire story. Apparently, one of their asset artists just disappeared for five years and then reappeared and said, "Like, oh yeah, by the way, you can just use all of my shit for free. It's fine." Um, it's 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 a pretty long read. The link to all this is in our show notes. Um, but yeah, now now uh, Unvanquished is entirely open source. It is free as in beer, or free mm. and free as in speech. So. It's it's not a thing they had to do, but it's nice to see like high quality open source games that like take open their open sourceness seriously. And un yes. Unvanquished is one of these. So. It is, man. And like at the end of the day, I'm very glad that they ended up doing it good. Uh, this game was, I think, amusing 
I think for all of us, because it 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 put the um, Deus Ex load time. Natural times. selection, too. <laughs> to shame. <laughs> um. Yeah, no, it, it's basically open source natural selection, too, that, you know, works. What and do you mean, I Tremulous? Did- well, this this is the successor to Tremulous. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> this is, yeah. Uh, but yeah, no, I did wonder why they had kind of gone poof. Just completely off the grid for the past three years, because this is one of those games that was sort of a staple of Linux Gamecast Weekly. Uh, we, whatever, you know, recording an episode, oh, there's an unvanquished update. And then it just kind of stopped so yeah no the internal review getting all the licenses up to snuff and make sure they can distribute the game wherever they like however they like yes great awesome (laughs) i'm down with it one last bit of news man maybe what like to overclock them digits or um maybe just Just like looking at those digits bouncing around in a gooey fashion Okay, that letter bit, absolutely. The first one, well, mm, no. <laughs> you can, there's some, like, prime number benchmarks that you can do, but that's about it. Well, uh, more this... to my point, I mean, if you one was two, you would want to see those numbers. Oh, yes. And, you know, for some people, some people, man, you see, Pedro, I want to run Linux, but I don't want to ever use the terminal. <laughs> I've been trying to do that for the past couple of months. It's damn near impossible. Mm-hmm. Uh, but... <laughs> Uh, what do, uh, there are a lot of people out there that are actively trying to change that, and we now have more GUIs for everything uh, than we ever had in the past. And this one is I might sort want of to not ironically point out uh, this thing with the GUI doesn't have a screenshot. I'm gonna go home page. No, <laughs> I, I, I mean it, it. It doesn't have a screenshot, but it looks exactly like the thing it's trying to copy. So it does. This is CPU X, and it is trying to copy CPU Z or CPU use that for windows uh and you can build it from source it's on github uh, you can also download the version and if you actually have a look in the uh little links that they have in the readme.md on github they actually have m- most distros have um cpu repo. on the repos yes um so yeah, the, on Ubuntu twenty oh four, it's just pseudo apt install uh, and away you go. Uh, it will ask you for the root password if you want to see everything that the MI decode would let you see because you need pseudo for the MI decode. So stands to reason. One of the things that I was hoping this would bring because uh cpu z on windows does let you see your infinity fabric clock uh the fclk from you know the gui without having to go into the bios to check to make sure everything is running as it should be um there's no way to check that on linux so i can't really fault you know the cpu x people from uh not including that because i think that's a kernel limitation as in it just straight up doesn't let how, you see oh, it. Oh, it isn't. How, yeah. Okay, that took a minute to find. <laughs> yeah, how, 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 how dare they not show me a thing that they can't read? I want a made-up number to make me feel better. Uh, <laughs> but, but but I mean, like, yeah, uh, so I, I installed this from the official Fedora repos, and they're pretty good about having it everywhere. And they have an app image in case, you know, you don't want to... If yep. you're running a Hannah Montana Linux, you don't want to put a ring on it. <laughs> yeah, um, and yeah, it, it looks exactly like CPU Z, which I mean, it's the point, right? If 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 you're trying to make a clone of a software, it might as well look and feel exactly like that software. I guess what, what's the advantage and utility of something like this versus like a little dock? Because I do have a dock that keeps track of um, the averaged frequency between all sixteen threads. Um, How many for it? Actually, threads. in that respect, if you want to see all the threads in one go, then yeah, that little dock is better. But this one, what it does, it lets you see everything that DMI the code would let you see, but you don't have to pipe it into less to be able to read it as it scrolls down. <laughs> yeah, that, 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 that's kind of that's kind of it. It 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 just <laughs> conveniently organizes the information for you. It <laughs> is absolutely, and there's a couple of prime number, as I mentioned, there's a couple of prime number. Um, benchmarks that you can pick how long and how many threads uh, it's going to run on so it could work as a uh, an overclock testing thing it's like okay i just overclocked the cpu let's make sure everything is stable run this for 30 minutes and see oh 
catches fire. So, uh, <laughs> if, if 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 you're if you're in Discord, you'll notice that Strider apparently cannot run CPU X. So it does not work on <laughs> Linux. Period. Apparently, oh, <laughs> no. trying to load lib mirror. <laughs> Wait. And on that bombshell, good night. <laughs> Coming up next, we're throwing chairs at subdivide. No jumps. No jumps. I got, I got a joke for you guys. Knock, knock. What happens when a uh, dominatrix multiplies something by a decimal? Moo. Subdivide. This is what the game we're throwing chairs at uh, this week's by Julian Hoser. Heiser. Hooser. I don't know, I'm butchering their name. Uh, you can It's done on the Unity engine. You can pick it up for about five bucks US. What is it? Make your way through over 50 levels by manipulating a line that divides the world. Reveal a platform to cro- get across a gap. Cut through a platform to drop down past it. Make the ra- make a ramp by cutting a platform midway, or even use a platform as an elevator to make it to the goals. Uh, the developers did send us some keys over at Curator Connect, so thanks a lot for that, mm-hmm. you guys. Uh, so let's get started. Let's I guess, get Pedro... It you're, you're, you're up first again. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, so over here on KDE Neon with the Ryzen 7 3700X and the GTX 1080, so antiquated at this point, uh, <laughs> it launched it launched out of the box. It holds 144 if you enable VSync, otherwise it caps at 60. So that, that that's always an interesting bit of uh, Unity technology going on there. But if there was audio, I couldn't tell you it had some I, background I, I, it had some background beep boop music I, I i i didn't notice it uh the uh dual shock if i try to use it without the uh steam input on if i move the left analog stick all the way to the end it wouldn't register so you, oh, I'd had to keep it halfway if I wanted to move. So then I tried turning on Steam input. That was fixed. So that that worked uh, as it should. But no buttons at all would make it jump. The little square thing that you see on screen if you're watching the video version. N- no button would make uh, the thing jump. So that was kind of a problem. And I ended up just uh, playing with the keyboard. Um, as for the fun, well, it's it's easy. Uh, considering some of the puzzle games that we've had on the chair acquisition, uh, this one is very, very easy. Uh, the only hard bit, uh, quote unquote, hard uh, that I've seen thus far isn't even all that hard. Uh, the it's the levels that require the timing puzzles, and those just uh, they're more trial and error than anything without any sort of clear indication of when the platform is going to become tangible or ceases to become tangible. It really just boils down to die, die, die. Oh, got it. So, yeah, no no puzzle-solving ability there. It's just trial and error. Um, it Anything, like an audible ticking noise, like tick, 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 tunk, and it's no longer tangible, or it suddenly is tangible. That That would have been perfect. But... Yeah, no, much like the uh, really bad flying machine, uh, there's a distinct silence to this game. But, it, you know, you can still play it, and if you like really simple puzzles or a game that makes you feel really good for not much at all, yeah, two chairs. <laughs> uh, do you, do you, do you want to go to the next event, or should I? Yeah, man, I want to be the creamy middle uh, this <laughs> <You> week. <laughs> all right. Well, you are white enough. <laughs> oh man, you say it just like I like it. Okay, check this out. How did it run over here on Debian 10 on a thread ripping 1920X with a 2060 shoved in this little critter? Man, uh, this is my first and only thought. Uh, dear developer, you never tested the Linux build, son. Because, you know, if you did, you would know that controller support is absolutely, positively, 100% not from Concentrate. Knackered. Tried it with the X-Clone. Took the X-Clone out. This is just, hey, it's good work with this, man. Come on, no problem. I can move left. I can move right. I could swipe around on the uh, puzzle field. I could not jump. Then, in what can only be described as morbid curiosity, I grabbed the PS4 controller. More of the same. I could move left. I could move right. Could not jump. I could change the... Uh, what you're seeing on the screen there, you know, moving back and forth to the level and to reveal the mechanic. Nothing. Then these two were 
pretty much giving me the same exact things. And I think they went so far as to break out the Steam controller, which I didn't. I didn't. Um, oh, yes. Let me tell you what I did. I, I tapped that Proton button, Vem, because I did want to play the game. I want to give it a fair shake. Uh, Proton 5.0. It definitely got my controller on. Even the X-Clone controller with Proton, like my little guy would sometimes just run off the edge. <laughs> sometimes <laughs> I don't know no. who to blame for that, but that was irritating. So I, and ultimately at the end of the day, I took my hook of red um, PS4 controller and um, got a sexy time on with the game. So the PS4, it worked correctly under Proton. But what the hell were you thinking mapping the default movement buttons to the analog stick? That's just mean. Come on. And the menus, I think Jordan will even touch on this. They're backwards. They go the wrong direction on the screen. I don't know. That was new. That was edgy. Outside of that, though, everything went swimmingly. It was fantastic. No problems to report. Because it did hold 60 and 2160p. Now, let's talk about the fun. I'm going to be honest with you. You do have, like, the uh, grain here. Like, the mechanic itself. It's a fun little puzzle platformer game. It is, man. It does a solid job explaining everything without telling you. There's not really anything in the way of tutorials. Like, hey, figure it out, bucko. Which I did because the mechanics are simple, but they're very different kind of wipes. I'd reveal two different parts of the maps, and you can kind of, you know, catch a sneak peek. Um, <laughs> that works out very well, man. Because uh, you got to figure out your navigation. Like, going to do this, do this, do that. And, uh... Then buttons show up, and things just get fucky after that, man. I mean, I should say interesting. The only issue I had was, like, the slippery-ass controls, man. You know, they get me killed to death more than a few times. If you get a little, like, goth block that's got to do a little bit of precision platforming, I should better work right. And it, it's tight's not the word I would use for it. But I will say this, man. If, big if, if. The developer decided to fix controls under Linux. Hey, uh, oh, you could say test the build that they're releasing on Linux in exchange for money. Maybe do that before you put it out. I would say pick this damn thing up, man, because it was like four ninety nine. You can get some fun out of it. But in its current state, I would absolutely give it like a solid two chairs, man. Like, hey, man, sort of one. I kill some time with this. Sit back on the couch. Oh, wait, you can't. Controllers don't work under Linux because you didn't test it. Um... But until that's fixed, uh, yeah, avoid this. Uh, it's sad to say because there's a fun game hiding behind uh, some of the technical fuckery. One chair. Yeah, uh, under, on, uh, under, for, on. Uh, thir- over. under, <laughs> on, over, in between, inside, merged like a, like, that's another Tuvix, game. <laughs> Tuvix, uh, on, on uh, Fedora 32 64 bit with the Ryzen 9 3900X and the GTX 1080 Ti, you know, that old $350 card that nobody wants. Um, yeah, it launches. Um, it holds some ridiculous FPS. I'm like, oh, that's a, that's a number, but I mean, it also looks like it's made in Flash, so. Yeah, it's what it's, I'm, I'm not completely surprised. What's the modern equivalent of the, like, made in Flash? Just why GL know? I, I guess HTML5 is that what the H- kids think? Ma- ma- maybe yeah, HTML5, mostly WebGL. Yeah, <laughs> one, one of these game maker frameworks. Anyways, um, controller, yeah, it's a no go. So I, I I plugged in my 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 drool Spock over here. Um, it did not work. I it disabled Steam input, and then I could move around a little bit, and I could do the little screen wipey things with the shoulder buttons, but I could not jump. So I said, hmm, perhaps this is an issue with the DualShock. So I got the Steam controller. Lo and behold, it was the same thing. And I hit all the buttons, all the paddles, all the things. Nothing worked. And then out of sheer desperation, because I couldn't find the the little cable ends for the the Xbox controllers, because they're in a box somewhere, I found this old Logitech controller. It's not even an F310. It's like the one from like bef- two generations before that. Lo and behold, same problem as the DualShock. So yeah, you're playing this keyboard and mouse. Uh, the menus are kind of weird, like Ven mentioned. They, they kind of just expand outward and don't go away. So I thought that was a little weird. Not really anything to ding at a chair, but still quite, quite odd. Um, fun-wise, I mean, yeah, it's another puzzle game with simple mechanics and some weird fidgety problems. I do actually really appreciate how there isn't really a straight, there isn't a single solution to all of these puzzles. Uh, it's kind of freeform. As long as you can cheese your way to just touch a corner of that little black square, you're good. Um, so, um... But Fen is right. The, those controls, man, they are super slippery. It's great when you, right after you land the jump, and then you just take your hands off the buttons, and then you just kind of go flying off, and you're like, huh, 
I didn't, I didn't do that. Uh, the puzzle progression is all right. Uh, there's a constant adding of new mechanics, and they combine multiple old mechanics to create something a little newer. They have... I guess it's a level select when they give you the two black boxes after the puzzle set. I don't know. I, uh, that's when you complete it. You go through it. One thing, it, it does definitely doesn't have as a reset for your progression. It does not. The reset is throwing yourself off a cliff. Uh, yeah. <laughs> um, the... I mean, with, without the controller, I, I think a lot of the navigation and puzzle stuff would be a little more intuitive with the controller because, you know, you move with the arrow keys and then you jump with the space and then A and D control the screen scrolling. It's a bit weird. I thought to myself, maybe Pedro would be okay with this, but I'm not. Uh, it's just kind of fucky. So I'm, I'm going to give it one chair. I, I kind of agree with Ven. If this had proper controller support, I'd probably give it maybe two, but... I absolutely would. I would. Um, the the big thing I have on it is I, I like puzzle games. I like when people try stuff new and this hits both of those. But your first experience with something is you buy it. You know, there shouldn't be. Oh, this thing just straight up doesn't work because most people are going to refund that, man. Mm -hmm. And yeah. if, I, if I buy a game to support Linux and I pick it up and it doesn't know how to Linux properly... And I have to use Proton to play it. I'm just going to send it back on principle. But yeah, I'd like to see that get fixed because, you know, even with Proton, I'm sorry, developers, Proton's not your magic bullet, even though there's no mention of like, hey, man, the controller supports not going to Linux. Even if you knew that, you're like, hey, just use Proton. You still got some issues. Um, yeah, uh, keep working on it or make part two. If, if this came out of a game jam, we'd all be fucking amazed. Yeah, this, this yeah. <laughs> definitely does seem like it came out of a game jam for sure. Like it, it has the simple mechanics and the overly simple art style that I think it, it does. I think this is a better presentation than really bad flying machines. I think this is yes. more put together as a game than that was. Uh, and I enjoy the mechanic in it, but it needs some needs some testing. Yeah, pretty much. Yeah. And yeah, no, to Jordan's point, I did grok the moving with the arrow keys because that's what i'm used to that probably explains mm. why i was also the one who gave it the highest score so yeah. it, that, 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 that's what i was thinking because i'm like it's so weird moving moving with the arrow keys and jumping with space bars and then i'm like wait that's what pedro does all the time he's probably has no yeah. problem with mm -hmm. this at all. For, for me it's just a weird adjustment and my brain it, it it, the, the wires are getting crossed. All right, so coming up next, Venn debugs your NDI problems because yeah. it's Linux technical support cast. Mm. Oh, yeah. And chances are you've seen yet another puzzle game that we weren't terribly Were you fond puzzled of. puzzled by the puzzle game? Was it puzzling? Yeah. Perplexing? <laughs> would, 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 yes, you, would you say um, we, we, we maybe have a divided opinion on it? Uh, subdivided at least uh, but yes it's uh, it was a game and if you have your own opinions about the game feel free to head on over to linuxgamecast.com you hit the contact button fill out the form make sure LGC weekly is usually the default but you know <laughs> I don't know your cookies so um, make sure you pick LGC weekly to send us some hate mail to get featured right here right now my cookies are or, Oreos yes <laughs> or you could leave us a uh, Comment on Patreon. Patreons, of course, get that, uh, you know. It's a direct priority. line to God. <laughs> they have our ear. Yep. Uh, or YouTube comments, but of course, those will be subject to. Uh, that, that requires us, us to them? read the YouTube comments. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Pedro reads the YouTube comments. It's just, he, I do. He, he reads them, see if. They're about them. If they're not, just fuck off. Um, I usually uh, look for the ones in the videos what i did something in uh and if there's nothing there it's like, eh. yeah. <laughs> yeah yes <laughs> so let's get started this is from alcaris a-l-k-a-r-i-s and this is about my video from obs ndi that was uh featured on Newtex web zone which still is is in their blog um he writes you know if you're unfamiliar with obs ndi man it's what we're using for this, the, this half of the monitors, the other half we don't use OBS in the for, but um, <laughs> it lets us send uh, video over the network into this box without the use of uh, capture cards. Because that $500 brick I bought from Black Magic doesn't work with Threadripper just yet, but they're working on it. That's uh, 
Looking forward to that. Anyway, OBS NDI is the solution. And he wants to know, tried following the steps. Which I outlined in the video, but I want to try to select from the drop-down box, because you install the drivers and you got to get the two PCs to see each other. OBS to OBS uh, negotiations. Nothings. I like that. Plural, plural nothing is, is. No, no, no. That's a contraction of is, so that is technically correct. Best kind of correct, as we've established. <laughs> I, 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 I would still grade that negatively, showing there's no names being broadcast across the network, and I've done the setup process, of just linking both computers. No, oh, you tried it. All right, troubleshooting Ethernet using a static IP by doing local link only. So why couldn't you have the opposite problem? I, you have to fight NDS, OBS NDI, because it... It life finds a way, man. It crawled over my network. If it can see the other box, it crawled through a switch, through a router. Two different ways, because that's what it does, man. I'm going to save you a lot of time. I'm going to save you a lot of time. Guarantee you, what you did, you went to OBS NDI to the GitHub, and you downloaded the OBS NDI, and you installed it on both boxes. You didn't see that package that's about five down, which is the NDI that you have to install as well. You need a server. Well, yeah, it's got to have LibNDI installed. So pop that on both the boxes and I guarantee you your problems will be fixed. Does that sound about right? Having yeah, not no, if the, dicked around with NDI, yes. <laughs> if you're uh, direct linking the two PCs and they can't see each other, you're not running the NDI server. I mean, I'm pretty sure like they don't even have to be networked. If they can just see each other. Yeah. It's going to try to find a way. Air gap is imper not impervious to NDI. It, it just finds a way. <laughs> it'll do it through the um, it'll, it'll do blinking it through of your monitor. <laughs> it'll be like that the, Timex Watts. The, 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 no, no, the, the, the CPU will emit like a radio frequency that the other, over like a microphone, they'll, they'll catch it and then, yeah. Proton. Proton, yeah. Uh, this is from mm. Rene. Uh, and they say, is Proton hurting real Linux versions? Question. No fake Linux versions. <laughs> uh, I'll admit, it bothers me more to see more people playing Windows games with Proton. So edgy. Z. What are your thoughts, sir? That, that, that's... So what, what, what are my thoughts? Yes, absolutely. 100% Proton is killing native Linux versions. Because why would someone put time and effort and development and quality assurance into something when valve is providing an option that in 90 i want to say like 95 percent of cases works about as well as you you could do it probably a little better because if you don't know how to develop for linux you're gonna fuck some stuff up you might as well let the third party library do it for you and from that perspective i can see the from the developer side why you'd want to do, use something like this <laughs> but yeah for the, I, i've said this for a while for the long-term health of the platform i think proton is kind of a bad idea it's putting all our eggs in that basket um yes we have lots of games now but now we're kind of just reliant on proton forever now, the interesting thing is going to be, Pedro is going to say positive things about Proton. I am. Again, Proton basically doubled the amount of games that were playable on Linux overnight. And as we currently stand, we're not getting any more um, native Linux versions than we were before. That's true. Uh, absolutely. And there's probably a very tiny minority of uh, developers out there that are going, oh yeah, no, Proton's a thing, so I don't even need to click export in Unity to bring the game out on, Fall guys. on Linux. Fall guys. Uh, and at that same point, we're going, um, yeah, I can still play your game. So... <laughs> no, 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 you can't, because easy anti-cheat. <laughs> Easy um, anti yeah. hard mode. It's one that of the will be things. fixed, I expect. <laughs> you 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 expect. Just keep just keep holding your breath. It's like. a very interesting proposition. You gotta look at it like this, man, because Proton's a very easy sell for developers when you look at it from their perspective, because it's absolutely free. They don't have to do anything. Nothing. It's like, hey, it's an option. It's another revenue for us to get more money. And it has the added benefit. They don't have to fucking support it. And like, oh, it doesn't work on your distribution running? What? Not our fucking problem. <laughs> um, now, 
I'm kind of a mixed bag. Now, Jordan, you're 100% correct because, uh, you know, I remember when Proton came out, I went, well, goodbye virtual programming. And that pretty much held true. And that's the thing I said, and Feral's about to start developing for the Switch and mobile, which they have, because it pretty much annihilated any business case for, just think of the people who run Linux versus like, the people who have Linux installed, but you know, let's face it, the games out. I'm just going to play it on Windows. I'm not waiting for a Linux port. So that's where they were going to get their money from that, especially with Feral's business model. And right now we're kind of held to, hey, are you going to like release a version with Unity, like maybe the game we played this evening? But did you test it? So we're running into a lot of that. And then we're running into cases like, oh, well, you didn't test it, but hey, I can make it work with Proton. So even if you're against Proton. Those problems were already there long before Proton was even introduced. Right. And it's not it's not (laughs) it's not that I'm anti Proton. I think Proton is great. I think having more games available to play under Linux is a good thing. But again, it's the long term health of the platform that I'm concerned about. Um, And yeah, now now for sure, these ports will never come because why why would why would they? What's the incentive? Well, what's going to happen when uh, Crow teams like, yeah, just play with Proton. Yeah, that that and that's that's ultimately what's going to happen, uh, especially once like all the all the Stadia money runs dry because Google cut them a pretty sizable check. To- I'm, yeah, but Crow Team's been doing or at least paying to have. Uh, you know, now yes. they're doing it themselves, but Sirius M built since Genesis, except for the yeah, third one or something. Right, one. but but. And and so so far, it's been the technical argument of well, supporting Linux forces us to write better C code, which requires us to like actually fix structural problems. Yeah, with but our that code sounds like it's getting, running... getting getting between me and the money. Exactly. Yeah, but, yeah. That, and that, that, it's that, much and, easier and to let uh, Visual Studio do the coding for you than it is to actually develop it yourself. Indeed, <laughs> and of course, you can always just test it in your Windows subsystem for Linux container. Yeah. I don't know, via, via, what via, most via, via are DirectX doing. 12. <laughs> At the end Does of the launch? day. Does it launch? Yeah, it launches. All right, there we go. Yeah. I mean, so, we're so going to see better support with Unity. And I don't know about Unreal Engine. I mean, just Epic's too busy chewing on glue sticks right now to focus on like their game engine. Um, well, they, they gave Strider the money, so now they don't have to worry about it. Yeah. So we don't have to worry about native ports. They bought off Strider. Uh, they gave Creta money. They gave Blender money. Like, yeah, no, they were throwing the, the, their money around, and I hope the, they the, keep the, throwing their money around to anything the, other that's not they exclusive. Gave, they gave Godot money to, <laughs> yes. to fuck over Unity. <laughs> <laughs> you know, hey, man, silver linings is the best shit like that, you know? People got paid, so... There's good to that. Yeah. But yeah, mm. Proton is going to keep going on because Valve did some, Valve cracked a nut, man, that hadn't been cracked. You can say, hey, wine. Hey, play on Linux. Hey, Neutrus. All this. Cetica. Valve did one thing nobody else bothered to do. They put a fucking play button on it. Like, yeah, you enable this and then you click play and you can play most windows games that aren't multiplayer the most don't important have any thing kind of anti-cheat is, going on hey we can whitelist them we can do that but it either work or it don't it's simple as that for me i'm sitting there i'm like oh all right oh it doesn't work here fuck it whatever um yeah. it, it, there's no i uh, in, i'm not being incentivized like well here's a billion options maybe maybe like on tuesdays after 4 p.m you know when you know go fuck yourself is in retrograde you can get it to run um instead of a virtual desktop kind of and it's acceptable <laughs> at three frames a second at 720p no it's like it works or it don't yeah. yeah, and nowadays, uh, yeah, I, I said earlier that Proton overnight basically doubled the amount of games uh, that were playable on Linux. Nowadays, that's more than tripled. Mm. So, yeah, no, I I very much appreciate being able to play over 20,000 games that are currently on Steam that don't have a Linux version just by having Proton. And me personally, uh, I'm still just getting over the fact that we have Steam <laughs> on Linux. <laughs> And I, for one, look forward to 10 years when the Proton project is so bloated and overbearing bearing that like... Burn. Overburn. Overburn. Burn. Overburn. Over the Bernstein bears. That's so far that now, now you need to virtualize bears to build Proton. 
We got to do that music, ladies and gentlemen. If you want to get a hold to us, come watch us live. Um, we're kicking off for patrons and Discord, uh, audio, video, shenanigans at 7.30, 8.30 here on Twitch. We're doing the things, man. Come scream in our direction. We'll smile back. We might blink in Morris code. Fair warning on that. Don't go back and watch looking for Steam keys. And, uh, yo. <laughs> If you want to get in touch with me, I'm just at Vin Stone on Twitter. That's where I hang out since uh, Pedro nuke, uh, not Pedro. Yes, Pedro, you were responsible for nuking and paving Google Plus. It was all his fault. Um, blame, blame Pedro. Yep, blame Pedro. When in down, but <laughs> mast.linuxgamecast.com is the uh, place. I post some stuff there too. It's it's terrifying. I'm Jordan Swung. I am your favorite bear, and you can see me. Swear I don't bear. Know, get, Get get hit in the ball by balls by rubber hose or like get my head stuck in the honey tree, on Twitter at the Burning Fool. And I am at and accounted for. I am the missing bear. I am the one that fell down the well in Lassie as yet. I am the one who bears. Wait, a bear fell down a well in Lassie? <laughs> what the fuck kind of Lassie show are you watching? The Portuguese version. It's, it's <laughs> It's a lot more, there's question, a lot more hairy men. There, there, there's, there's Don't decided, question my imaginary canon. There's right? a little, little bit more bear in the version. <laughs> the first scene bears and Lassie exist in the same universe in my head? Sure. <laughs> I, I want to I, I read your fan fiction. Where can I find that? Die to fire. Let's roll some credits. Bye-bye. <laughs> Little credits, little so, tiny credits. <laughs> tiny Lit credits. Uh, oh, wrong credits. Weekly, weekly, weekly daily Ooh. Wednesday credit. We, 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 with apologies to Moza for not being in these credits or the correct credits. Yes. Now I'm curious. Sorry, Moza. Thank Sorry. you, Moza. <laughs> Damn, I made him too. Uh, I, think, I knew if I got something. We'll fix it in post. <laughs> yes, I'll fix it in post. Well, man. Uh, had a good Seriously, one thank you to every single one of you crazy people out there who decided, you know what, let's throw these guys like a dollar a week. That that that's just crazy. And anyone like waking up from a four day blackout. Hi. Oh. <laughs> no. It's still Wednesday, you guys. Yeah. Tee -hee -hee. Thanks, Brad. Five dudes. <laughs>